safety comes first at Camp 4. The following rules and regulations are designed to improve safety in the log yard for you, other drivers, and Camp 4 employees. Let's take a look at the two routes of travel drivers take in the log yard. Trucks enter the log yard from the south at 84th Avenue and proceed to the way scales for weigh-in. Next, they continue north to the derapping stations where drivers remove their wrappers. Soon after leaving the derap, drivers make a turn to the right and proceed until the stop sign. Here, trucks typically turn left, drive a short distance, and then turn right into one of the summer yard or courtyard roads. Drivers go several hundred meters and stop to be unloaded. Once empty, trucks follow the road around and return to the scales to weigh out. Then, it's on to the cleanup area and for a few, the trailer loader. Most trucks exit the same way they come in, south on the hauling road to 84th Avenue. The other route drivers may take in the yard leads to production, where your logs are taken straight into the mill. After leaving DRAP, drivers continue straight through and turn right onto the road they are instructed. Once empty, trucks turn right again, drive a short distance, and turn right at the stop sign to return to the scales to weigh out. Same as before, it's on to the cleanup area, and if required, the trailer loader. The exit is also the same, south on the hauling road to 84th Avenue. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the ground. All trucks enter the log yard from the south private hauling road and cross 84th Avenue. The speed limit in the yard is 20 kilometers per hour. Please switch to radio frequency 166.14. Smoking is not allowed anywhere in the log yard. Loaded trucks should allow empty trucks to pull onto the scales first. When driving on or off the scales, the maximum speed limit is five kilometers per hour. Slowly drive onto the scales, put your truck in neutral, and set the brakes. Once you get out of the truck, proper protective equipment is mandatory. Here at the scales, that includes hard hat, high visibility safety vest, and safety toe boots. Enter the scale shack with your TM9 ticket from the field. Start by scanning your ticket. Pause on the screen. You need to wait until it catches up. This pause is it thinking. It is entering all of the information for you. This is the confirmation screen. Check to make sure everything is correct. If it is, click yes. You are now weighed in. If you are confused about the procedure, please refer to the procedure manual in the scale shack. If you do not have a barcoded TM9 ticket, the procedure for weigh-in is much longer. First, enter your truck ID. Then, you're going to find the contractor or the logger. You can use the arrow keys or the mouse to scroll down, or you can start typing the data, and it will jump to that part in the field. Hit Enter. The source is a combination of the OPS subunit and the cut block. Start typing the OPS subunit, and from there, select the correct block. Again, you can hit Enter, or you can use the mouse to select Next. Here, you're looking for your sorts. You're going to select the drop-down arrow box, and choose the length. This is a 16 foot. Then go over to the species, spruce pine, unless you know it is a balsam fir. And then the sort code. In this case, it's a small. And then finally, the percent full. It defaults to 100%, but please select the correct volume full. Do that for all three bunks. Once you get used to it, it does go quite quickly. Some trucks do have four bunks. Once you're finished, you're going to hit Enter or Next. It will ask you the condition of the wood. Is it beetle kill, fire kill, or green? Almost all loads are going to be green, unless you know it's dead. Enter the TM9 number. On your barcode ticket is the load number and manually enter that in. Please ensure that you use the number zero and not the letter O. Again, you're going to hit Enter or select Next. Now, it is your driver's ID, which is your initials and the last three digits of your driver's license number. Then, it is back to the confirmation screen. Please confirm that you have the correct data. Use the mouse to select yes, this information is correct. You are now weighed in. Private or salvage wood weigh-in is the same procedure as manual entry. 
The source for private wood will be the legal land location, and for salvage, it will be the disposition. Other than trainers or supervisors, no passengers are allowed in your truck beyond the weigh scales. Passengers must wait at the scale. After you leave the weigh scale, it's a short drive to the dewrapping stations. Wrappers must only be removed at one of the two dewrapping stations. Pull in as close as possible to the station on the driver's side. All PPE must be worn, including hard hat, safety vest, safety boots, eye protection, and gloves. Lower the D-band arms until they touch the load. Undo the kinches and pull the wrappers back towards the D-band shelter. Drivers can use the pike pole to release the kinches on the other side of their vehicle. If the wrapper gets caught up in the load and you need to go to the passenger side of your truck to release it, use the pike pull. Always make sure you stay outside the orange screw piles. Never go between the screw piles in your truck where a log could fall on you. Once all your wrappers have removed, please return all arms to an upright position before driving away. Coming out of the DRAP station, trucks are to notify the loader operator of your load profile, including the size of the logs, small or large, the species, balsam or spruce pine, and whether your load is fresh cut or old harvested wood. The loader operator has to know about special loads, like salvage wood from an oil lease, or abnormal loads like a cleanup load. These loads need to go to a special decks, and it's best for the loader operator to know as soon as you leave the dewrapping station. If your load is a government sample load, please notify the loader operator as soon as you leave the scale shack. We'll have more on sample load procedures later on in this video. In the log yard, use radio frequency 166.14. Make sure the loader operator acknowledges you when you speak to them. Small 16, large 16, medium 20 unwrapped. Okay. If it is your first time in the yard, please let the operators know. Shortly after leaving the DRAP station, the road either continues straight or turns to the right. Signs point you in the direction of production or the log yard. If the loader directs you to the courtyard or summer yard, turn right and stop at the stop sign. Loaders coming from the south will be traveling faster than you and they have right of way. Please be mindful about radio communication, especially at peak traffic times when there may be multiple operators and truckers using the radio. Loaders may have to give you additional instructions once you reach them, so please pay attention while you are in the yard. Turn left at the stop sign. Turn right into the road the loader has directed you to. Always stay at least two truck lengths back. If you've been directed into production, continue straight after DRAP. Your logs will be taken directly into the mill. Once the truck in front of you has been unloaded and pulled away, do not immediately pull ahead. Wait until the loader operator gives you the go ahead first. Be patient. Loader operators may be operating under the mill channel and may not be able to communicate with your truck at the moment. Loaders always have the right of way. Before traveling behind a loader, ensure you have either radio or eye contact with the operator. Otherwise, in dusty or snowy conditions, the operator may not see you approaching. At Camp or Grand Prairie, there are two different types of log loaders. The 980 is generally used for unloading into production. The two high deckers, like their name suggests, are capable of putting logs in high places. Be patient, sometimes two of the loaders will work together to unload your truck. Drivers must stay in the cab at all times while being unloaded. Logs at can for are sorted into decks according to the species, size, and whether it's fresh or old harvested wood. These are decks 302 and 303. The loader operator will tell you which deck your logs went into. You will need this information to complete your profile when you weigh out. Once unloaded, wait for the loader operator to give you the okay to pull away. All right, man, you're good to go. Head back past the mill and go back to the scales to weigh out. When using the new east scale, please ensure that you follow the signal lights. If a truck enters the scale too quickly, it will not zero and you will have to enter the scale again. When weighing out, scan the barcode and wait for the computer to catch up. Select the drop down for the yard and then select the deck that the loader operator told you they unloaded at for each bunk. Again, you'll select next, then you will get the confirmation screen. Ensure everything looks correct for you. Click yes to accept. The load will print. The paper is perforated so it folds into thirds. You take the barcode and put it on the front left open area 
or the back of one of the tickets, it goes into the basket. The other copies you can take or place into the pigeonhole unit for your contractor. To manually weigh the truck out, first enter your truck number. Then follow the same procedures to enter the bunk decks. Once the ticket is printed, staple the white copy to one of the tickets and put it into the basket. You can take the other copies or put them into the pigeonhole unit for your contractor. The washroom facilities are located to the north of the scale shack. Please pull off to the side or into the cleanup area before using them. Any damage to your truck or trailer must be dealt with prior to leaving the yard. If you are making a claim, damage report cards are available at the scale shack. Any damage or injury must be reported to the log yard supervisor before leaving the scales. After weighing out, head south and turn to the left to pull into the cleanup area. Here, you can remove the debris from your trailer as well as do any required maintenance. Proper PPE is still required. The trailer loaders are located south of the cleanup area. Operators must load their own trailers. Please follow the safe work procedures. Never exceed the maximum posted lifting capacity of the trailer hoist. Never put your fingers or hands in a pinch point with the hook or molly. If you see anything unsafe about the trailer hoist, report it to the log yard supervisor immediately. Most trucks exit the log yard from the south end. When clear, go to the left side of the road so that you can make a wide turn onto 84th Avenue, heading west. You are permitted to exit the log yard from the west side onto 108th Street. However, you are not allowed to enter the log yard this way. Now it is time to look at government sample loads. You will get a printout with the information required to fill out the pink cards. It is very important that you follow the proper procedures for a sample load. Failure to do so will result in a fine or suspension. Make three copies of the pink card using a felt pen, take a staple gun, and staple one pink card to each bunk of logs. Please use enough staples so that the card will not blow off in a strong wind. Notify the loader operator that your load has been selected for a government sample load as you leave the scales. For sample loads, the route of travel changes. Once you reach the stop sign, instead of turning left, you'll turn right and go south. After going a considerable distance to the south, you'll come to an intersection. Most sample loads go to yard A1, so you'll turn left. You'll likely see other sample loads already on the ground. Wait here for a loader operator to direct you. If yard A1 is full, you will be directed to yard A2 or A3, immediately west of A1. Sample loads are later spread out in preparation for inspection by a government scaler. By adhering to the rules and regulations shown in this video, the Canfor Logyard will be a safe and more efficient place for all of us.